Welcome to Mindly Way, where we explore life philosophies to grow and find the right path. Get ready to listen for an inner journey. No human creature on this earth experiences happiness 100% of the time, and no human being at all is content with their lot in life. Everybody experiences low points, losses, getting sicked into things they shouldn't, and losing their way. Some people never find their way back to the path they were meant to follow, while others manage to make their way there. Eckhart Tolle once observed that your thoughts about a situation are what ultimately lead to dissatisfaction, not the actual circumstances. Here are five strategies to help you get back on track whenever you've lost your way. First, write down your thoughts. Your reality is not what has happened. Rather, it is how you frame what has happened. Change your thoughts, and you will change your life. Whether you choose to stay lost or find that path is up to you. Jot down your reason. Once you understand why you don't require outside inspiration, write down your justification for doing what you do, why you must achieve, and why you must become healthy. Grow as a person. Provide a good example. Why is it that you need to make money? Alter your perspective. Fortify your bonds with others and figure out why you must continue fighting. When you discover the reason, a fire will ignite beneath everything you do, causing you to wake up earlier or later and motivated to fight longer and try new approaches in order to find a way to never give up. You will still experience low points, but you won't stay there. Discover the cause number to understand how fleeting life is, realizing that life is fleeting and that you only have one chance to experience life can be one of the most effective strategies to get back on track. This isn't a recipe for recklessness or insanity. Rather, it's an acceptance that almost everything you worry about will probably not matter in the end. Let go of the weight of almost all of your issues and concentrate on living your life to the fullest, pursuing your passions, and surrounding yourself with amazing people. Third, fuel your mind with positive thoughts. Feel thankful for the life you have inside of you and the time you have left. Make the most of that time by asking yourself how you want to be remembered and how you can conduct yourself today and every other day to make that memory. Feed your mind with something positive and powerful. Read as much powerful, transformational, and positive self-development content as you can. Whatever you choose to do, books, audio, and video guides, it doesn't matter how. What matters is that you do, and if you are supplying your mind with insightful information on a daily basis and assiduously processing it, it is quite unlikely that you will lose your path. Instead, you will likely lose your way by succumbing to negativity, as do the majority of people on the earth. Bad news, little disputes comparing oneself to others. You make your way by taking on tasks that the majority of others avoid, such as self-development. Be observant and honest about your personal growth in order to better yourself in all facets of your life. Ask yourself what elements of your personality or skills you would most like to see improved. Then look for the most knowledgeable mentors and resources in those areas. There is no more powerful force on earth than gratitude. And if you are truly feeling it deeply and practicing it every day, it will ensure you remain in a powerful positive state. Number four move science has proven. You can also feed your minds with your own inner content. This is known as gratitude. Exercise has the potential to reduce depression, minimize stress, and release endorphins, or feel good chemicals, from your brain. As a result, the next time you get lost on your way to the gym, go for a run, sweat, let go of some tension, and repeat the process every day to keep getting stronger physically. You will feel considerably different if you stand tall with your shoulders back and a big, cheesy grin on your face than if you bend down and grimace. Your physiology and posture also play a huge role in how you feel. When you are feeling down, observe how you are sitting, learn as much as you can about it, and adjust as necessary. The fifth, goals are essential for ensuring that you know where you want to go and for keeping you on course to get there. Common sense and science will inform you here are some tips for creating clear, 
Define goals, since those who do so have a far higher chance of living successful, fulfilling lives than people who don't. First, if money is what you want, be extremely clear about it. Don't only write, I want more money. If your objective is to improve your physique, don't just write, I want a better body. Instead, mention the precise weight or body fat percentage you need to achieve. Decide exactly when you need it. Lastly, outline your plan for achieving your goals. I will reach 10% body fat by June 30th, 2019, and I will make $1 million annually by December 31st, 2019. By December 31st, 2019, I will earn $1 million annually performing X. But in order to get there, I must first learn Y and finish C. By defining what you need and when you'll have a goal to work toward, the likelihood of you straying from it when you have something significant to work toward is extremely low. The secret is to make it meaningful to you. We provided a financial example, but your goal should never truly be focused on money unless it is connected to a larger purpose. Your reason for earning that money could be your family, your children, or a cause you support. In this case, you know how to get back on track and that you don't have to stay lost because you know that this, too, shall pass. Continue so as to continue expanding.